What's up guys? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm talking to you guys about my everyday carry watch collection. Let's jump into it. Just because lately it has become a habit of mine, right before I jump into a video, I do what's in my pockets that day. And so, because I'm sitting in my office chair, they're not actually in my pockets, they're on the table. First up, we have, let's do, let's do the Hank first. We have my brand new white Topo Hank from Awesome Hank. Look how pretty. I love it. Love the design on it. I love the look of it. But it's also super thin, just like my red and black plaid one. It slides right into my pocket. You don't even know it's there. And then the knife of choice today is, of course, my wee OD Green Bander. Let's hope it focuses. Come on, camera. Come on. Let's get it to. Come on. There we go. There we go. With, of course, an awesome Hank lanyard on that to match all of my Hanks. It's just awesome. The action on this knife is great. I went with an OD Green theme this week, this weekend. I've been carrying the baby banter this week, but I thought it was just time to give this one some pocket time. Man, that action. It's just so good. I could sit there and fidget with it all day. And this one did have a lanyard on it, but I just took it off. It also had another awesome Hank lanyard. This is my Gerber Dime Multi-Tool. Just found it yesterday at a Walmart in Jack... No, a Target... Where did I find it? Academy in Jackson, Tennessee. I got the last one they had in stock. Thankfully, it was the black one that I wanted. Inside, you have your pliers and bolt cutters. But all the other tools are on the outside. So you have a bottle opener. Knife blade that is not very sharp. It looks sharp, but I promise you it is not. Then on this side, you have the like box opener, box cutter. Let's get that focus to go back on. It was doing really good. Come on, there we go. Your, bo your retail box opener is what they call it. That thing works really good, actually. On this side, you have your scissors. And these little doomers are awesome scissors. Come on, focus to it. Awesome scissors. They work really, really well. Highly recommend them. They're great. You have your flat head and fill what they call you can use for a Phillips head and a nail file as well. Those are the two tools that are going to get used the most for me because of my tripods. And then you have little tweezers built into the top of them right here. And it's not, they're not that good of tweezers because they are so tiny, but, but you are talking a $20 multi-tool. It's a 12 tool. 12 tool thing that shoves right into your pocket. You don't even know it's there. Super lightweight. It's great. I think I may actually enjoy this better than my little tiny pocket one. I think just because of the size and, you know, the fact that I actually paid for it and it was what I wanted, I think I may enjoy it. Okay, let's jump into the watch collection now. Okay, so we're going to go oldest to newest in this collection. And one thing that I left out of today's carry, it's on my wrist, but I'm not going to talk about it until it comes about in this video because it technically now is the newest. All right, so we're going to start with the first one. First off though, uh, we got an all blue set up today. The Titans are currently playing the Chiefs and crushing them. So uh, let's go Titans because you know Dallas is on a bye week this week. Alright, first up we have my 1989 Fossil Batman Custom. So this Batman watch was actually my dad's when he was little. I put a new battery in it but it's dead at the moment. And I also upgraded the leather band. This is an alligator skin leather band. It was like a $50 band. And at the time, this watch was probably around a $50 watch, maybe even cheaper than that. So now putting everything on it and kind of making it a custom, I would say this watch is now around a, worth $100, $150-ish maybe. It's, it's a 1989 Fossil and it still looks good and it's still running. Not at the moment because it needs a battery. But it's been about maybe two to three years since I've put a new battery in it now. So I think it is time to get a new battery. Okay, next up is my last Timex Expedition. And this is the 40 millimeter Timex Expedition metal field with a water resistant leather band. I love this watch. It is Indiglo. Almost all of their watches are. It still works really good. The, the glow really still works. The only thing that doesn't work on this watch now is the calendar. I have to get that fixed, but not to the end of this video that I'm going to show you, but I did just buy a new Timex yesterday 
because I didn't know how much it would be to fix the calendar and I was just like let's just get an upgrade so yeah this one is water resistant for 50 meters or 164 feet so yeah it's a really really good watch I don't get it wet but I you will notice that I do prefer to have a water resistant watch just in case they were to get wet and the next up is the freestyle shark clip I actually think that this color has been discontinued on their website because I can't find it anywhere. I bought this one, I believe, at Billabong Surf Shop in Destin, Florida, on our last trip to Florida. It's very dirty, but I love this watch. It's a super small watch. Let me see if I have it. It is 100 meters water resistant or 328 feet if you want to uh, go fancy with that but uh, I'm not sure what size it is it's, it's a very small watch it's a great size I love it I started wearing it this past two weeks after I kind of stalled out on my Garmin which is coming up but I realized that I really that I really missed <laughs> it's a blooper for us but I really missed having a smaller watch so I went back to wearing it and was just like wow I did not realize how much I missed having a small watch and not always getting my notifications like you just heard on my watch and having my wrist buzz all the time. I didn't realize how much I missed not having to deal with that. So here I am back to after just buying that massive watch and very expensive watch. Here I am back wearing these little these little ones that are half the price if not more than half. So yeah there's that. Next up is the Gorman Forerunner. Let me go grab that. Okay, so it's not turned on because it connects to my app and I don't want it connected to it because I have my other Garmin. So here we go. This is my Garmin Forerunner 235. This watch on Garmin's website is still very expensive for the old technology. This is, I don't know what year model this is. I really don't. I bought this used for $75. From a friend who's getting rid of it uh, she was a runner but has had to stop doing that and so she was getting rid of it and i was wanting an upgrade from a fitbit that mom gave me and so this was what we got i wanted a garmin because i loved how hers looked and i loved the all black look of this one on gorman's website this old watch runs for 250 dollars which is personally i just think that's a little ridiculous because it is such it's such older technology compared to my new one. This is a 45 millimeter one. It's not very accurate. I'll be honest with you, the, the, all the little tracker things, they're, they are not accurate. <laughs> but it looks good. The all black looks good. Uh, I have not tested it yet because I got my new one. This one is going to be the tester next summer. I'm going to see how water resistant they are. I'm curious to know. And because this one is kind of dying out, getting older, I'm perfectly fine with risking it in the water of the pool, but not my four, how much, $400 other one, which you'll see in just a minute. So yeah, that is the Garmin Forerunner 235. Now, I'll be honest with you, the plastic actually has done really well. It's held up very nicely, and it's got some scratches on it. You can see my lights up there in the reflection, but it's done really well for what it is. I actually think I may like the plastic one better than the glass of the more expensive ones just because it's easier to beat up and you don't it doesn't like hurt you as much because you've spent so much money on the others okay last oh wait no there is one more after this one I forgot you've seen in the pat in two previous videos this is my Garmin and Marvel first Avenger special edition smartwatch I love this watch so much and you already know a lot about it if you've watched those videos if you haven't go back I'll link them up there go watch them I unbox it and then I did my initial first impressions slash review of the watch it's a great watch it comes with the Rogers blue silicone band and a leather band I prefer the Rogers silicone uh, because it has more slots in it than the leather so it fits better it also says I can do this all day on the back. I love that. Just that little detail. Just because, you know, I'm a, I'm a big Marvel fan. So just having that little detail, I just love it personally. So yeah, it tracks your heart rate, all that kind of stuff. It's a great watch. It's very accurate unless you're like me and you don't wear it a lot during the day. And then you put it on to sleep and then it tells you you went to bed at like 9 o'clock. When in reality, you went to bed at like 
midnight. So sometimes if you don't wear it, we have learned that if you keep it very still, it will think that you are asleep when you aren't just because you're not wearing it. So yeah, it's a great watch. It's a very expensive watch coming in at $400 on Garmin's website. But as of right now, it is on sale for $380. It's only $20 cheaper, but hey, you can take that $20 off and pay for shipping. I paid for a two day shipping because I was like, I've got $20 extra dollars off that price. I'll just pay for faster shipping. So yeah, that's what I did. I recommended that. That's, it's a great option because you have that, ex I mean, unless you just want to keep the $20. But I, I just went ahead and had it sent faster to me because I was really needing it. The Garmin Forerunner was kind of dying that week. And I was like, okay, I'm just waiting for it to just stop working. So I did it. That is actually 45 millimeter. They have a 40 millimeter that is Captain Marvel themed. It's a very beautiful watch as well. But I'm a big Captain America fan. So I had to have it. You can see Captain America right here. I have another thing on that side. And then all the way up there is my Avengers logo that you can't see. But yeah, so that's the 45 millimeter just because I wanted the Captain America. Yeah, those are almost all of my watches. Then comes the one that I bought yesterday and that is my new Timex Expedition Scout. This watch I bought at Target, $45, $45. I was so happy. I spent under $50 with tax included. It was like 49 and change. 4903 I think and this is an OD green band I'm not sure what material it is but I really like it I'm a fan so there you go Timex Expedition Scout with a working calendar might I add to that there's the back just says Timex now I actually do like my other ones back better it's got the Expedition logo on it but hey they're the same I believe they're the same size so if the other's 40 this one would be 40 as well it's a perfect size. You have plenty of little spots to put to put it on sizers. It fits great. I think I have four or five extra on here and it fits so well. I can make it tighter too. The end glow on this one as well. So good. I just be because it's new, but I'm a fan. I'm loving it. So there you go. That is my everyday carry watch collection. Well guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to go hit that subscribe button down below and help me reach my goal of a silver play button if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much. I'm on my way to 50 subscribers as of right now. I am thinking, this is a tentative plan, thinking about doing a 50 subscriber giveaway just because we have done so well and I'm so thankful that you guys enjoy watching my videos and that you actually do watch them. It's a big thing for me. So what I'm contemplating is maybe an awesome Hank, we'll see. And maybe the Mr. Go Live, just because that video is the second most popular video on the channel with over 500 views now. My everyday carry passed that one very quickly with over 1,200 views. So that one is now the most popular video. Go check it out up here too. I loved that one, that one was so much fun. And now that I've got better knives, I really need to do an updated version of it. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.